بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ویلکم یو آل ان دس کورس آف انجینئرنگ ڈائنامکس دس از لیکچر نمبر ٹین اسٹی اسٹوڈنٹس وی ول ڈسکس ٹوڈے اگین دی کروینگ ان موشن بٹ ان دا پولر کوارڈینیٹ سسٹم دیٹ از آر تھیٹا کوارڈینیٹس دا کوشچن از وائی وی آر چینجنگ دی کوارڈینیٹ سسٹم آف ریفرنس ایکسیسیز Uh, we have done the carbonated motion, the Cartesian coordinate, and in the normal tangential coordinates. Why we are going towards the R theta coordinates? But there are certain conditions in which if we take the reference axis is radial and the theta axis, means the polar coordinate, then it, the system becomes easy to describe and to, to analyze. So we will discuss uh, in this uh, lecture today is the position in the r theta coordinates the time derivative of the unit vectors in the radial and the theta uh, directions the velocities and accelerations the velocity component in radial and the theta coordinates acceleration in the radial and theta coordinate system and the special case we will discuss circular motion and i'll solve one of the uh, unsolved examples so let's see for example i give you the application of the r theta coordinate for example this missile is moving this is a trajectory which is shown by orange line and this is the radar which is basically tracking this uh, missile so the radial direction i show this is the radial direction line of sight of the uh, radar and the other one is the theta now to find the velocity and acceleration of this missile it is easy to analyze in r theta coordinates as compared to the cartesian or nt coordinates similarly if you see this robotic arm this this length this l is basically changing and up, and this arm is moving so it is easy to analyze again in r theta coordinates similarly if you see this is the uh, ratchet or is moving at certain angle and this uh, slider is moving along the radial direction by the movement of the lead screw and again it is it is easy to analyze in the uh, in, uh, in r theta coordinates so these are some of the example which i have shown you where the r theta coordinates becomes easy as compared to the other coordinate systems so let's uh, uh, go for the analysis and uh, formulations of the velocity and acceleration uh, vectors and then we will apply them if you see this is the cartesian coordinates x and y if there is any body at, po at point a and its position in the form of the radius and theta is r and theta if i draw a simple uh, axis along the radial direction that is r and the vector perpendicular to this that is the theta component so the unit vector along the radial direction is er and unit vector along the theta direction is e theta and this is the path curved path followed by the uh, by the any body which is moving that is the curvilinear motion i take the uh, that body at a certain particular instant if you want to show the position in the r theta coordinate we, we give the r of course and then the direction of the vector so er is a unit vector in the direction of r if i take the 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 the, the er in the direction of x and y coordinates is i and j so it's cos theta i plus sin theta j similarly you see this is the cos component and this is the sin component of this uh, uh, the i and j component of the radial vector unit vector similarly the theta vector i will take this is my theta vector of course now this angle is theta so this will have one is the x uh, x component other one is the y component in this case of course the x component is sin of theta in the opposite direction right because this one is in this radial direction and uh, sorry in the x dire y direction y direction and this is the in the opposite x direction so it is minus sin theta i plus cos of theta i so er is cos theta i plus sin theta i and e theta is equal to minus sin theta i cos of theta i this is clear because this is resultant this is the a the y component positive direction and this is the in the negative direction and this angle is theta in this case so what is velocity of velocity is the rate of change of the position or displacement so it's it, it is basically r er we take the derivative with respect to time as r and er both are the <coughs> function of time <coughs> therefore uh, i take the uh, derivative by product rules r dot er plus r d er by dt time derivative of the unit vectors that 
that we have found out er in the previous slide so uh, when i take that time derivative of course this becomes minus sine of theta theta dot plus cos of theta theta dot so if you take theta dot is common it's minus sine of theta i plus cos of a theta j is basically e of theta that we have shown here so it becomes theta dot e theta so the derivative of the radial component with respect to time is basically theta dot e theta it has a velocity component in the theta direction as the uh, uh, di by dt and d uh, j by dt are zero they are constants so and e theta is this okay next we move uh, of course e theta e theta is minus sine theta i plus cos of theta if i take the derivative of the d e theta by dt it becomes of course it becomes uh, minus cos of theta theta dot minus sine of theta theta dot and of course if they take the take minus common cos of theta plus sine of theta is basically er so it becomes minus theta dot er so again uh, the derivative of i and j uh, with respect to time is zero so dear students now the velocity we have find out already r dot er plus r d er by dt and d er by dt we have find it over here is just basically theta dot e theta so it becomes uh, r theta dot e theta so the radial component is r dot and the theta component is r theta dot if you need to find the velocity the radial component square plus theta component square under root will give you the velocity similarly let's go for the acceleration if you take the time derivative of the velocity we will find the acceleration so d by dt of r dot er plus r theta dot e theta r dot and er are the time uh, dependent They are function of time, so it's u into v. So r double dot er. First, I take the derivative. For example, r dot, it becomes r double dot er. Then r dot d e r by dt. Then r theta e theta is u v w. So r dot theta dot e theta. First, I take the derivative of r. Then I take the derivative of theta dot becomes r theta dot. Then I take the derivative of it, e theta, which is r theta dot d e theta by dt. <coughs> so this is r dot d e r by dt der by dt we have already uh, shown you that is basically theta dot so theta dot e theta then this is r dot theta dot er e theta no problem r theta double dot e theta is no problem minus r theta r theta dot d e theta by dt is basically theta dot er so i put the value of theta dot er becomes r theta dot square now arranging the terms together by in the uh, r and theta so we get r double dot You see, this is e r r double dot minus r theta dot squared times e r. This is the radial component of the acceleration, and uh, r theta double dot plus uh, r dot r dot theta or r dot r theta dot becomes two r dot theta dot. So the acceleration becomes a r double dot minus r theta dot squared e r and r theta double dot plus two r dot theta dot e theta. So this is the radial component. This is the ten, uh, the theta component. By taking squ uh, the square of the radial component and the theta component and taking the root, you can find the total acceleration. Okay, let's see how the different uh, components of the chain in vectors is contributing towards the uh, velocities and acceleration. And what is the concept? Uh, of uh, the der by d theta if you see this is the er vector the unit vector with some time it change from er to e dash and if you take the change this tan is actually der and it is in the direction of theta so therefore der by d theta by moving by the rate of change of the er with respect to theta is it, it is in the uh, direction of theta similarly if i take this is the vector theta and after movement of d theta this this position is e dash theta so the change is d e theta so d e theta by d theta is in the minus of the r direction therefore is minus er so the rate of change of the radial unit vector is basically giving the change in the theta direction and the rate of change of the theta direction is giving you the change of in the unit vector of the uh, in the negative unit vector of the radial radial direction Geometric interpretation of the r theta coordinates. What's the meaning of the magnitude of v and the direction of the change of v? We talk of both. The first of all, I'm talking of the radial component, and then I will talk the theta component. If you see, this is the radial component. If you see, this is dr, the change in the radial direction, and this is r dot theta dot. This is the change in the uh, 
of course the in the in the, in the theta direction this is in the r direction so so dr dr by dt is basically basically r double dot so i can say the increase in the length of vr is basically dr dot and the accession term is dr by dt that is r double dot right so r double dot is the component of uh, uh, component of the chain in the radial direction which is contributing towards the radial component of the acceleration when the direction is to be changed then of course we we we, we have this uh, r dot d theta this is the change r dot d theta right as so r dot d theta by dt when we take is r dot theta dot this is the component of the acceleration which is contributing towards the uh, theta direction r dot theta dot similarly if i talk of the magnitude of the change of the uh, theta direction so this is r theta dot which is in the radial direction this is uh, r theta dot which is the theta direction and this is my v theta so v theta is equal to r theta dot so if you take r theta dot as a derivative it gives you two terms r theta double dot dot plus r dot theta dot because first we take the derivative of r double theta dot so it becomes r theta double dot then we take r dot theta dot so r theta double dot plus r dot theta dot is contributing towards the uh, uh, towards the theta components of the acceleration similarly if the change in uh, the direction change of v theta when v theta is changing its direction of course so what will happen in that that case v theta d theta v theta d theta v theta is r theta dot it is d theta and of course it becomes theta d theta by dt becomes again theta dot and that is r theta dot square this is the contribution of the uh, change in the magnitude of the theta velocity velocity in the theta direction towards the theta acceleration so it means <coughs> you see very clearly that r double dot minus r theta dot is square so in the radial component this r double dot is the change in the velocity change in the velocity of the radial component and sorry uh, and this uh, uh, r theta dot square it's is coming from the change in the direction of the uh, theta component similarly uh, r dot theta dot r theta dot theta dot is basically coming from the change in the direction of the velocity of the radial component and r theta double dot plus r dot theta dot is that component is coming by the change in the magnitude of the theta velocity so therefore this component coming here so this added becomes 2 r dot theta dot and r theta double dot so this is the uh, case and you you you, you be students will not uh, too much confused in this but uh, in the interpretation but you should know it know it uh, such that you are uh, in in the mind you are uh, clear but you actually use the formula but when you using the formula of course you will also know the basic behind this now we take off uh, today the very very uh, common example the motion along a circular path for example a body a point p is moving in a circular path with the radius r of course the, this is the tangential component this is the radial radial direction this is the, the, the theta direction which is also a tangential component v theta and er so e, e theta and er is the radial and the uh, theta unit vectors this is the radial velocity and this is the tangential velocity and theta velocity and the theta acceleration and this is er as we know that in this case vr is equal to r dot so if here the r is not changing r dot is equal to 0 so we have only the tangential or theta velocity component is r theta dot similarly acceleration is radial acceleration is r double dot minus r theta dot square again r dot is 0 so r double dot is also 0 it becomes minus r theta dot square or minus r omega square or is equal to v square by rho minus v square by rho the negative sign is showing that it is always towards the mean position this is the same centripetal acceleration which you discussed in the case of centripetal force and v square upon r which v square upon r is basically the Uh, is basically the centripetal acceleration yeah, or r omega square negative sign only has a significance is it always towards the mean position i am taking the radial direction it is an opposite of the radial direction similarly 
a theta is basically r theta double dot plus two r dot theta dot as r dot is zero we have only r theta double dot so this is the uh, radial component or uh, and this is the a theta is the tangential component of the uh, acceleration theta component or r theta component or tangential or same <coughs> Okay, dear student, we have developed the, the uh, equations for the velocities and acceleration in the r theta coordinates. So let's solve the problem. Simple problem 2-9 for the seventh edition of the uh, Gerald Merriam. Rotation of the radially slotted r is governed by theta is equal to 0.2t plus 0.02t cube, where theta is in the radians and t is in seconds. Simultaneously, the power screw in the r engages the slider b and the control its distance from o according to r is equal to 0.2 plus 0 0.04 t square where r is in meters and t is in seconds. Calculate the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration of the slider for the instant when t is equal to 3 seconds. This arm is moving in moving in the angular direction of course theta and this slider is moving along the radial direction. We need to find the velocity and acceleration of this slider, right? So let's move. We have given r 0.2 plus 0 0.04 t square as a function of time. So this is uh, this from this we can find the position. I take the first derivative, it becomes 0.08 t is r dot. I take the second derivative, it becomes 0 0.08. So uh, 8 meter per second square. Because it is given us that at t is equal to 3, three seconds, we have to find out the all the velocity and acceleration. So I put the value of uh, uh, t is equal to 3. I get 0.56 meter is the position, 0.24 meter per second is the velocity r dot and r double dot 0 0.08 meter per second square the acceleration. Similarly to theta, the angular position is 0.2t plus 0.02t cube. Take the first derivative 0.2 plus 0 0.06 uh, t square and 0.12t and I find out the, uh, the position is 1.14 radian at a radius of 0.56 and the, will, uh, the angular velocity is 0.74 radian per second and the angular section is 0.36 radian per second square. Now, vr is equal to r dot, so vr is equal to 0.24, v theta is equal to r theta dot, I multiply with the radius, I get the theta component, and of course, we take vr square plus v theta square, and we find the final velocity of the slider is 0.479 meter per second square. Similarly, the radius acceleration is r double dot minus r theta dot square. We put the value of r double dot, r and theta dot, and we get the minus 2, 2, minus 0.227 meter per second square and this negative sign shows this radial acceleration is towards the mean position towards the point of rotation similarly a theta is r theta by dot plus 2 r dot theta dot uh, again i plug the values i get 0.557 meter per second square and taking this uh, the radial component square theta component square taking the square root get 0.61 meter per second square the total acceleration dear students next if you would draw the trajectory the movement of, of the of the slider along uh, in the x and y direction, we know that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r, r cos theta because this is the r. So x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. And r uh, the, here r and theta are the function of time. So we get the x and y 0 0.2 plus 0 0.04 t square cos of 0.2 t plus 0 0.02 t cube. I just put the value of r and t in these equations. And you see the x and y are basically parametric equations. They are a function of time. So now I'm going to plot by using MATLAB. So uh, I say, uh, please always use MATLAB. This will help you how to, to do the plotting and complex problem can be solved. And this will help you in the later on in your engineering. So I take the time from um, zero to five seconds with, with the step size of 0.1. I take the R and please take the power dot hat. This dot is very important. If you not take dot, it gives you the error because you are not taking the power of a matrix. You are taking the power of each element of a matrix, right? Similarly, theta, then x is equal to r cos theta, y theta, I plot it and we get this. You see at zero, the displacement is 0.2, right? And as long as you time is changing and it the uh, x is increasing, then x is uh, going to a negative direction, moving to maximum height and then is going the downward. So from this, you can find out the trajectory of the slider. Uh, students, uh, uh, I have done this example, uh, sample problem 2-9 for you. Uh, this uh, is end of this lecture number 10. And inshallah, I will put the next uh, lecture in, in, I, in which I solve the sample problem 2-10 and 4 to 5 or 5 to 6 uh, unsolved problems such that we can practice. I hope, first of all, you go through this these slides, this lecture, and then you can understand how to solve the problems. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.